What's up everybody, Jason Cole here with rcgroups.com and I'm talking about the Jetty DS12 radio today. It's the new hotness, it's available now in the United States, finally with the FCC approval. Uh, I've been previously flying and still really enjoy my DS14, but for discus launch gliders, when I compete, this thing is aluminum, it's metal, it's heavy, it's a beast of a radio and it's awesome, but I needed something a little bit lighter. And that's where the DS12 comes in. It's got a plastic case. It is so, so, so much lighter. It feels great in your hands. It's easy to control. I did add a little bit of a texture grip on the uh, back and the front here. So, you, so I get a little bit extra grip when I'm spinning around trying to throw my gliders. Um, but the radio ergonomically feels really nice. It's comfortable. It's, you can pinch or thumb, no matter which way you like to fly, it's good for you. Um, but the gimbals are the same quality gimbals that you get in the DS-14. It's the Hall sensor effect. They're some of the best gimbals I've ever flown. Um, I really enjoy them. They feel great. You can adjust the tension to kind of suit that to your preference. Um, so those are really nice. Now the switches, there's lots of switches and knobs and plenty of things you can activate, three position, two position. Uh, I've got a push button here. One of the great things that I love about the Jetty radios is it's really easy to change switches out to something that you need. So me being a left-handed pilot, I needed a switch uh, right here that would function well for me for discus launch gliders. So currently I have a three position spring loaded switch. So when I put it in the middle, I can hold forward to or back to go launch mode and when I let off it springs back to the middle position and then I can push forward and then activate my other flight modes but you could also do it with this push button and use logical switches and launch mode release and then when you push forward on the stick you can get out of zoom mode you got a lot of options and flexibility you can even change out knobs and add little extra slider things there's a lot you can do here but it's really nice to change switches it's just a ribbon cable they actually give you a little tool i don't know if you can see it but there's little slots on these keepers and that's all the switch is connected with it's like a little uh, nut for the switch and you just remove that open up the radio and then uh, it's just a ribbon cable you can swap out no need to solder wires do anything crazy it's actually user easily swappable, which is really cool. Um, the other thing is besides switches, with the Jetty you do get accelerometers. So you can use a, a motion as a switch. So I know sometimes you might see jet guys with brakes on their landing gear that they'll tilt the radio up uh, when they land to activate the brakes or um, you know, you might be able to activate to uh, announce a flight condition or announce an altitude if you have an altimeter on board. Um, so you can do a lot of stuff with the radio. You could even set it to your control if you wanted to fly off the accelerometers. Might be a little hard, but it is possible. Um, so let's go ahead and dive right in. I'll show you kind of one of the, the things I was most excited about, and that is this color screen. Oh, and by the way, this is a Jedi radio, not a Jetty radio. Um, just a fun little sound effect that I have when I turn on my radio. But this color screen is really nice. It can be, I've got it at the highest brightest uh, brightness setting and I really like it there. It's really, really easy to see and, and sunlight, direct sunlight, it's not a problem to, to see anything at all. There is multiple color options and, and different things you can kind of play with in the menus and just kind of customize it to what you like. But I've got the yellow body, so I kind of went with this blue and yellow scheme. I think it looks pretty good. Um, so, you know, that's nice. And the other thing is, is you can add photos. There's no camera on this one, so you do have to take a picture uh, with your phone or, you know, camera or whatever, and then you can upload it into the radio with the uh, SD card or the USB cable. And then you can have pictures, so it's really nice. I've got like three or four of these CX-5 DLGs, and they all have different colors on the wingspan, so I can have the photo here so I know exactly what airplane I'm trying to control and I don't cross anything up or mix up any airplanes in the radios. So that's really nice. Um, you do also get voice output with this and I've kind of got my volume knob set to a slider here so you can see the adjustment in the top right as I move this knob. 
So I've got the volume all the way up right now. But you do get voice announcements, so I can have it set to do any number of things, really. But right now, I've got this one set to activate my flight mode. So when I change flight modes... Speed mode. Cruise mode. Thermal mode. Zoom mode. Launch mode preset. Zoom mode. Thermal mode. Speed thermal mode. So that's nice. It helps me when I'm flying to, to know where the switch is, but also to know what flight mode I'm in and make sure I'm in the one that I want to be in. There is also audio input, which I haven't really played with yet, but you do have the ability to activate things from your voice. So you could, you know, say deploy flaps or any number of things, you know, uh, retracts, and it'll automatically do the retracts when you set that up. So that is kind of something that's really neat and very different. So the microphone is right here on the radio. So that's a pretty cool function and something you get with this radio. So you do get a lot of functionality with this radio, much, much more than I could ever cover in this uh, video. But, uh, you, you know, you can go into the main menu here and there's all the options. You can set anything you want to do, basically anything that's possible with radios these days, this thing will do it. It does it all. I haven't been able to find something that I wasn't able to do with this radio yet, functionality wise. So I'm, you know, it's it's really 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 capable um, and it's really intuitive and easy that's one of the things I liked about it I I've played with some of the other radios and some of the programming was super difficult and hard to kind of figure out you're basically starting from from scratch from an engineers perspective where this is more intuitive and you do have some of the things you might be used to flight mode trim and dual rate expo it's kind of things that are normal to you know pilots that have used regular radios in the past. This thing just gives you so much more functionality to it. And then you also get telemetry. So you can have all kinds of telemetry sensors and get data from altimeters and, and uh, speed controllers and get all this information. For this DLG, basically, I don't have any telemetry sensors on it um, other than the receiver itself, which is telemetry enabled. And so I get battery voltage, so I can see I'm at 3.82 volts um, on that battery. And then I can also see my antenna uh, quality and information there. So I know if I'm getting out of range or something, you have all that information available. And you can set up audible alerts uh, for certain conditions that you can program. Um, so if you get a low signal or a low battery, you can program those warnings and alerts to, to audibly announce for you, which is pretty darn cool. Um, one other thing this radio has that is pretty fantastic is with this uh, 5.0.2, the 5.0 software from Jetty, uh, you now have the ability to access the manual within the radio. So you don't need to carry this giant thick book of a manual with you. You can just hit the menu button when you're on a screen and it'll pull up the, the manual. So if I wanted to look at something that was in fine tuning and see, okay, what does digital trims do? I can select that and there's the manual documentation on that function it's got graphics it's easy to read kind of gives you all the information you know so while it is super intuitive and easy to use even without a manual you could probably figure out most things without it you do have the manual right there in the radio with you so if you're at the field and you're trying to figure something out you don't need to pull up the internet or a paper manual it's right there on your radio for you which is really cool um, now, the other thing that I really like that Jetty uh, has had for a little while now is Lua Scripts. Um, so this is actually a Lua Script app, this receiver battery monitor. It uses the telemetry data and then puts it into a percentage and then also gives me this kind of battery fuel gauge um, icon so I can kind of see, you know, at a glance where my receiver battery is doing in my airplane. It's just a one cell LiPo that powers the DLG. So I thought that was kind of cool. I like the graphical nature of that and how it looks. It's pretty neat. Um, but the other thing is I also have an application uh, for training. So F3K is the type of soaring uh, competition that I do, and there's an app for it. And you can go in and edit the app and change all kinds of parameters. There's different flight tasks you can try and mess with. Um, you can set the countdown timers and what switches activate it and everything. But um, So essentially I can start it. Turn up the volume there, one. and then when I launch, mode, launch it starts the timer, minutes, and I can zero, see seconds. how long I'm flying. It'll give me a countdown. This is a two-minute task here with a 10-minute window. So if I came in and went ahead and landed, I would 
hit the button to get ready for the next launch and relight, and then it's starting a new flight. So that is just awesome that I can have a training app on board in the radio anytime I want to fly. You know, I can train and do that without having to have my phone and extra timers or other things going. So that's pretty cool. I'll go ahead and turn that back off now. So I just love having the ability to have apps and, and graphical interfaces and this color screen and, and a lightweight radio that is just super functional, highly programmable, and is super high quality. All of the quality of the switches and the gimbals, everything is just extremely nice. So it, it's really my favorite radio for flying gliders and discus launch gliders especially, but it's going to be good for lots of other things in aircraft. Now, again, there is so, so, so much more to this radio than what I can cover in this video. Just kind of wanted to talk about some of the things that I really enjoy and like about it, especially for D DLGs. And if you want to know more, I'm going to have this full written review online at rcgroups.com. That link will be in the description, and you'll also be able to, to link off to the Jetty website and get even more information. This does sell uh, in various packages. There's a basic package, and then you can upgrade uh, features and functions as you see fit and there's some packages available as well you can find out that information in the review as well um, but that's it for now guys hope you've enjoyed this video if you like what we're doing go ahead and click that subscribe button ring the bell we really appreciate that uh, we thank you for your support and we'll catch you on the next video